And now for something completely different. Good morning, guys. Well, it's up Louis Vlogs and Games Day. Welcome back to another video. Welcome to the 64th vlog of the vlog series. Can't believe I made that many. But anyways, today we're starting our adventure at Spring Road, where today we're traveling somewhere that we haven't been before for a vlog, and we're going down to Coventry today. So our train will be arriving at 10 past 10. We'll take us into Moore Street. We'll walk over to New Street, then we'll get a train over to Coventry. So yes, it's a half term now, as you pretty much suspect. As the start of September, back at school. Got myself a girlfriend. Whoa. And finally, I'm off for the week. So in other words, let's get this vlog started then, nonetheless. The next train to arrive at platform two will be the 1010 West Midlands Railway. Service to Kidderminster via right, so it looks Birmingham like our train Snow driving Hill. in now. This is our train that will take us over to Moore Street, where we will change and go to New Street to get platform our next train to the Copper Train. The train that will take us into Moore Old Street Hill, today. Cradley Heath. Line, Stourbridge Junction, Hagley, Breakdown, and Kidderminster. This change at Birmingham Wall Street before New Street Station and Bit of a busy train. Uh. Driving into Birmingham Moor Street now. We're going to change here and walk to New Street. I'm trying, I know that. Right, we are, right then, so we just got off at Birmingham Moor Street on 172 336. Continuing its journey to Kitty now. So we're now going to walk our way to New Street now to catch our next train that will take us over to Coventry. As I checked on the timetables from New Street earlier, they said that the quickest train to get. As right now, it's going to be the 10.50, which stops, which skips most of the stations and it only calls at the airport in Coventry. So I think we might get that one. Let's find out. So we're on the 10.50 to London Euston and we'll get off at Coventry. It's been a while since we've been on a fancy West Coast, so looking forward to be giving us another ride. Let's go to the platform. Now down at Birmingham New Street on platform 3, our train is already here. That's quick. And our train's in the Coventry is 390 001. Oh, for God's sake. We won one, stupid me. Looking really good in the new livery. Right, so, just about to get on the Pendolino now to Coventry. Wing Coach F. Oh, Lord. Right, people are ready. Oh, this feels so harsh. Right then, so we've just got on the train now. 390.011, just on the train now. It's not going to another 20 minutes. It's probably get 10.50. And we'll be heading to our way to Coventry in just a moment. Only calling at the airport, then Coventry. I took my seat at 01, which is a window mm -hmm. seat, but somebody has reserved it. <laughs> Airline style seat at number 25. Oh, Train itself was really busy on the way to London today. Yeah. Ooh, we left Birmingham bang on time at 10 to 11, and the time we'll take over to Coventry will only take 20 minutes due to this train being express. As we speed down the West Coast Main Line at our top speed of 100 or 110 miles per hour, we took a quick stop at Birmingham International for Birmingham Airport, and then we depart towards Coventry, but we got ourselves into another problem. Our seat has been reserved again. We've got these seats, but we're all right. We're going up a common tree. We're going up a common tree. We're going up a common tree. But you're quite welcome. We've been given two seats here because somebody said he was getting another. Oh, Yep, we have to stand for the rest of the journey because most of the seats in the carriage was full and taken. Well, I guess this is worth 20 minutes, I can tell. Well, that was worth 20 minutes, I doubt that. Oh, no. At So, 
2019 just left and that was one hell of a ride. We had to switch seats two times in a row on our journey. Yet so most of the seats on board that carriage was absolutely taken and we're served. So that we should have reserved a seat on that train and we didn't, so we just had to take an available seat. But in other words, we're now made it to Coventry, so we're now gonna exit the station and don't know if there's, we're gonna walk or take a bus over to the city centre where we'll be heading to the Transport Museum. And this is the reason why we came to Coventry today. All right, so I just found the, um, the times for the buses to go to the bus station. And it says the bus in front of us is at 9A. Yeah. I think it will take us into this bus station, I reckon, Paul Meadows. We'll see if that bus will take us there. And yes, it does. Get ready, fans. We're about to ride the bus! <laughs> to University Hospital, though. So we hopped on the Envoy 400 EV over to Paul Meadows bus station. We go. Next stop, Paul Meadows bus station. That's all slow. Thank you. And here we are. We're into Paul Meadows bus station, so we're going to go and get some food now. Hoping there'll be a Mackey's nearby so we can get some chicken nuggets and maybe go to the transport we soon, perhaps. So we're gonna go into the Mackey's now and order some nuggets because I am hungry and I didn't have any breakfast this morning so So into the Mackey's I go eat some chicken nuggets and we came back out and walked to the transport museum. Right, here is the transport machine that we're going to just to right. be interested in having a look around because I wanted to record a couple of things here. And let's have a look at these um good old classical um oh. old transport they've got in the museum. Good to see you. Yeah. Haven't been here like a long time, but we're going in now after a long time. In other words, let's go inside. Right, we're in the museum and this museum has a lot of old classic transport, like this bike. With two people can ride it at the same time. The train broke down. I changed mine now. Now it's too late, can't change it. Pretty cool to see this as a thing in the museum. Lewis Hamilton would drive there really quickly, I can tell. What a Yeah, that's the train goes down while that. I'd say Northampton. And here is some more classic transport. I can't believe back about a century ago they have these old, really old um, type of cars like the old sleigh, Landuletti, if that's how you say it correctly. Do not touch me, I'm old and fragile. Um, okay then, I won't hurt you. I'm not one of those new motorcycles for myself and they're sort of, um, Trying to fix me, I guess, uh, but I'll be terrible at riding bikes. I might fall and injure you. Yeah. Injure myself, I can tell. Touching me means I will not survive for others to enjoy. So if I touch you, you'll die, yeah? Okay, I won't kill you, I promise. There's um old program on this table right now. I think it's all about fixing vehicles, I doubt. It sort of looks like it. Yep, there's a steering wheel. Yep, the wrecking cars. I can see a tank ahead. I'm trying to find the first there's all military stuff ahead of us as we can see the tank ahead. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what's there. The old military tank. Quite rare to see these in the Transform Museum. We just found a car oh, being crashed here. Wow, that must be like a disaster crash, I can tell. Uh, what's happened to you, mate? Just falling in. Okay, poor guy. Can't help you, mate, sorry. I'm just sleeping. A bit real shit if I woke them up. Wake up in there, will ya? So I'm going to get into the more modern days now with some more older cars and we'll soon be in the modern life right now. 60s, these bikes. I've been on 14 miles per hour. I only have 40. Quite interesting bike. Quite interesting bike. Quite interesting bike. I've done a lot of protest signs on email for a picture picket line. Well, I wonder what is this all about? Is it smoking or something? Cross the line! Cross the line! And what's the concept? What are you going to do about it, eh? Well, I'm starting to get more modern now. We're heading into the future. We're starting to see more of these cars, including, I oh, like that one. It's a really nice car. Don't know how old it is, though, but it looks kind of new to me. And I got room here. The good old Birmingham taxi, as always. I think it used to always look like that. So. And now I'm starting to see the horses up here now. So we are um, climbing up the ramp to some more cars. Getting more modern. More classic ones too. Then we've got the horses here. Look at 
this type of caravan just lying there. That must be looking very old, I can admit. And more of these military vehicles here. Yep. And we've got the tractors. Yep, they still run on the roads. Of course they always do. Next room, they got all these little models here. Good old as well. Good old classic jets, the Concorde there, the buses here and Luxury They've got a train set in here as well, but they didn't work, unfortunately. There yeah, is a Eurostar train in there as well. Uh, 373, yeah. Well, until I've got enough tender a little bit more. Rather than extra here. And at the wheel. What a view. This car right here looks sort of new, new to me. Then we got, I think these are the Formula One cars. If I'm wrong, then remind me what it really is. These old classic Formula One cars, I reckon. And it even has a jet engine in the car. Like that's so that could be the fast possibly go. Because I'm going to ride in that. Better than taking the plane. Right then, we're now at the gift shop. What is your thing? Please not stop. I want to touch out. We also found these um, car register with everybody's names on it, but I couldn't be able to find mine. How disappointing. All right, Dan. So that was our time at the Coventry Transport Museum. Had a good time having a look at some good old classic vehicles and all that stuff. But anyways, it's our time now to be heading back home, unfortunately. So we're now heading to Paul Meadows bus station to catch our bus back to the railway station and catch our train back to New Street, walk over to Moore Street, get the train back over to Spring Road. So I need to have a look to see which bus goes back to the station and according to the train timetable at Coventry we missed the 1327 to Manchester Piccadilly so I think we might get the 10 to 2 one back to New Street but I don't know but let's see what else we can get. Right so we're back at the bus station now and let's find out what bus quickly. route will take us back to the rail station as there is a few that actually go there. As I'm seeing on Google, I found that some routes like the number 87, the 12X and the number 9A actually go to the railway station. So hopefully we'll find any of those numbers that will take us back, but hopefully we better not miss the train. Oh, as well, it looks like this might be our bus now, the 12X. I'm hoping this will take us to the station. And yes, it does go there, so we'll get on the 12X. Right then, so the bus waited at the bus station for a couple minutes for a driver changeover, but it looks like we're now departing back to the rail station. But are we going to get the 1350 in time? Let's just hope for the very best. Next door, Coventry Station is Arrived back at Coventry Rail Station. Right then, so we just got off the 12X bus now at Coventry Rail Station and we missed the 10 to 2 one that was going to go to New Street but the next one is coming in 12 minutes we'll take the 1402 to New Street and if the train is a bit too busy we'll get on the next one is the 1411 to Birmingham New Street because I kind of want a bit of a peaceful little rice ride back to Birmingham on whatever train I'm getting on but let's find out what we'll be getting anyways. Now yeah, there goes it that was a train that we, sh we would have got if we arrived a bit earlier but the bus driver at the bus station took way too long. Oh, well, there it goes. Sucks. Instead, we're getting the 1402 Avanti service to Birmingham New Street. And this will be our Pendolino back over to Birmingham. And luckily, I was managed to get a massive table seat without being distracted. Perfect. Finally got a seat. Thank God for that. Anyways, we are now departing Coventry and we're on our way back over to Birmingham. from Coventry, we have now arrived back into the city centre of Birmingham. Right then, we've just got off the train now at Birmingham New Street. We're just walking our way over to Birmingham Mall Street now. We will catch our train back to Spring Road where we're going to end all.
are now approaching Spring Road. Now it's going by. What a day it has been. Uh, well, a really crazy day. And let's go through of what we've done in this vlog today. So we started our journey at Spring Road, got the 10 past 10 train to Moore Street, walked over to New Street. We caught a class 390, a fancy West Coast Pendolino over to Coventry, which is action packed. We've got a moose seat twice and the train was completely full until we arrived. And once we got there, we got the number 9A bus into Paul Meadows bus station, got some Mackeys, have a look at the transport museum then we took the number 12x back to the station then we hopped on board the 1350 service from coventry to birmingham new street Baltimore street and we got the 1510 back to with spring road well anyways guys i'm gonna leave it here for now thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed and if you want to see more videos like this one please make sure to like comment share and subscribe for more videos and we'll see you all in the next one. Until next time, ta-la.